Welcome folks to this edition of the Drunken Upholsterer. Today we're going to talk about covering this drop-in seat for a Mission Oak rocker. Uh, we're going to get it ready for fabric, the finished fabric, and I'll show you how to do it. To start, we got you got to cover the springs, and we're going to use the burlap to do that. And then over the burlap, which actually you use the burlap to keep anything from falling in and going through it. So over the burlap, we're going to use a padding. And then over the, the padding, we're going to use some cotton. And then over the cotton, we're going to put some muslin. And then we'll be pretty much ready to put finished fabric. So we'll get started with the cutting of these of the burlap. We got two kinds of burlap here. This is what everybody thinks about as burlap, and that's what's been used for a hundred years. But it it does rot and it does stretch, and it's not as strong as this synthetic burlap, which is what I like, and which is what I use. So you got to measure up, and you want the burlap to go over the springs, and you, we're going to attach it on the up side of the frame. So you have to have enough to go down to hit that frame and come back up. But before we measure, we got to get in the mood. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. All right. So you want to measure from the lo longest points. Flip it up a couple inches and add a couple. So it's 27 in that direction. And you're looking at about 24. So. 24 by 27. Always write it down because it's easy to forget it, especially when you're drinking. Hmm. Oh, that's good. All right. So, in order to save on burlap, this is three feet wide. There's no reason to cut my 27 this way, so we'll cut the short dimension this way, which is the 24 dimension. And so you can see it. We'll use that marker. A couple of marks. And then we want to be 27. And it doesn't have to be exact. You just want to make sure you have enough. All right. And since I don't use scissors, if I did, I would mark it all the way down and all the way across. But I use a roller cutter out of the shot, back into the shot. And all you need are two marks for a roller cutter. All right, and there's our first piece that we're gonna use. I'll go right on there. And our second piece, we're going to use this padding. It's a synthetic padding. It's probably about, probably call it a half an inch. And that's to keep the springs under control. You don't want to sit down and feel springs poking into you. There's no cushion that goes over that. It's just padding. So you want to, this padding to actually overhang the spring edge all the way around a little bit. So we're going to cut it so there's a couple inches overhang. Go to our, our longest part and add a few inches so it looks about, say, 20. Don't forget to write it down. And then this way at the longest point, we're about 22. So same deal here. This is 27 inches, so our longest measurement is 22. So we'll measure to the short one this in this direction at 20. Same idea with this. There's no real accuracy involved. It, you just want to make sure you have enough.
but this time because you can't cut with a roller cutter beside a straight edge I gotta make the marks and then I'll freehand it there and that's our our second piece to go on okay and now we got to do the muslin okay you put the muslin on it gives you the ability to manipulate what's going on in there we're actually going to put some cotton on there as well and uh, you can get it so it's nice and smooth and it fits the the uh, contours the way you want it to be same idea with this we're going to attach it on the lower part here maybe even on here because this is being a drop in see you can see these little cutouts here that's where the two the arms are the front arm and the back post that goes up and you you don't want to get too much build up here or it won't drop back into the frame so a lot of times everything is attached on the inside except for your finished fabric which would go over to the outside so we want to get the basically the same idea of attaching it down here but we got to imagine normally you do this after you had all the padding on it then you would measure it but we'll just estimate and it's about 27 and that's about 30 say so we'll make it 30 by 30 and this stuff is wrapped several times I'm not going to unwrap it but we'll just go up 30 and we'll cut there will open up as I said into a pretty large piece and we'll just cut it off we'll put it on and you know I'll cut it down a little bit and then actually might as well cut it right now get it over and done with I hope that it's big enough if it isn't we'll have to do it all over again there we go that should be big enough to go over all of that stuff. So we've got burlap, number one. We got the padding, number two. We got this, number three. And like I said earlier, we're going to throw a little cotton in on there as well. And I'll show you that when we get to that point later on. All right. So time for a break. And we'll come right back. Uh. all right on this uh, continuation we're going to cover this frame over you know you want to look your frame over good make sure everything's all right this one I had actually had a broken spring and I did repair it I used one of these three prong clips and I've got this clip plier when you stick it in there and then you put it, you'd put it over the spring or two springs. They've used similar clips here. And you just crush it down. And it supposedly holds it good. Um, I find that I always end up using regular pliers to finish it off. Bend it down there good. And in reality, this is all you need. But you do need the clips, which any nice upholsterer will give you a handful of. So, if you don't have a stapler, you can use tacks to attach everything. If um, some of these were broken, I might tie them with spring twine. But right, these are all pretty good now, but they are a little loose. So, you see that these are spring units are nailed on. 
Just want to make sure that the nails are in there good. This one back here is put kind of loose. There. Now we're pretty much ready to cover it over. And our first step was the burlap. You put either side up, it doesn't really matter. And what we're going to be using is uh, my nice BEA stapler with 3 8 inch staples. I'm losing my microphone. Sliding down my... Oh, it's on the floor. There we go. All right. Back, back to the burlap. Kind of even it off. Make sure you got it good. There's enough on every side to staple. Couple there. Didn't pull it. Snug. Doesn't have to really be tight. Just snug. It's a lot easier with a stapler than tacking it, but tacks have been used for hundreds of years, so they're still good. And we're just going along the edge. Get to the corner, kind of fold it back. Fold it back. That'll keep anything from going through into the springs. Give it a trim with your scissors. Get the excess off of there. Then I kind of fold it up to get it out of the way. So, you know, it's all the way around it. It's not interfering. And then you want to get this on here. This is that padding which goes over the springs. It's down and around. And you just want to make sure you've, you've overlapped it enough. Some people will hog ring it right on there or sew it. But I'm, I'm just going to leave it. Then I'm going to go over it with a, some cotton. Um, and this is real cotton. You can see the pieces of the, the uh, cotton seed and things like that. But for today we got some synthetic cotton that we're going to use. This is how real cotton and synthetic come. They come in a roll like this. And you just, you know, drape it over it. And just rip it. And then you're good. You want to feel it and make sure that, yeah, there's enough padding there. Feels pretty good. And it's probably a little long here, so just rip it off. All right, and we put our, our nice piece of muslin on there, which will contain this. You could also use like a Daycron. You don't have to use cotton, but this is kind of a period piece so you kind of want the cotton feel and you're going to attach it part of it so get it under control just get rid of the excess cotton and yeah, you know what? That's too much. I'm going to take some of this off, too. Always have your scissors ready. You never know. All right. There, because you don't want it interfering. Get that too much pad in there, and then you're in trouble. So you pull it down, same idea. Snug. Oop, hit the spring right there. 
All right, it's starting to take shape. I did front, back, sides. Hold that there. Okay, so we're in pretty good shape. It's starting to be fine. So you're going to go from the side, you go to the front, and you go from the side to the back. Just stick all your padding right in there. And you can do the two sides. All right, we switched cameras. Now we're on. So we're stapling this muslin, and we're doing the sides before the fronts, and you do it all the way to the back and all the way to the front. And it doesn't matter with, with uh, the muslin, but if you're doing a finish, you always fold down the front over the side or the back over the side. That's just one of the things that they do. And it makes the, when you're doing the finished fabric, it looks much better that way. You don't see anything. But this is just the muslin, so we don't have to be crazy about it. Fold that in, fold that down. There we go. Do the same in the back. Make sure you're all the way up there. Fold it in and down. Just get a little, you know, a little crisper edge to it. But like I said, with the the muslin, it doesn't, doesn't even matter. And you want to trim it off. Get out your trusty scissors. All right. So that, that's going to be it. That'll give you... Now you can feel that you... Oh, geez, I need a little more padding. And eh, you put it on. Or, hey, it feels great. That's good. And this one does feel pretty good. And if there was some problem with the padding, now's the time to move it, to manipulate it. But we're ready. We're going to be ready for the final fabric. Oh, a runaway. And in this case, it's going to be a vinyl. Originally, it had leather on it. But it's uh, an antique dealer selling it, and you know how cheap they are. No, he's actually a good guy. But it's, uh, it's going to look good. It'll be good, and hopefully I'll get a picture of the final product for you. Next, putting on the finished fabric, the vinyl. All right, now we'll put the fabric on this drop-in seat that we've already done. Got it looking good. Everything's new on it. And... The customer's got their fabric here. It's not mine. As you can see, there's some problems with it. So you got to make sure we do it where there aren't any marks or stains. And you can see these marks here, but we're going to try to put them left to right on the seat so it doesn't look too strange. Almost looks purposeful. And we'll try to kind of center it a little bit. Normally you'd measure and you'd, you know, you, you want to get enough fabric to go over the edge. So you want to give yourself an inch or two to go over the edge. So on this particular one, you'd, you'd be at, you know, 27, 28. And then you measure at the long point again, hang it a couple inches, another couple, 30. So normally you would do that. And you could do it with this, but there's so many problems with it. 
that I'm just going to kind of cut around it while it sits on the piece. So I want to make sure I get enough to go on the front and then enough on the back. And I should mention that what we're doing here is a, we're going to do a pullover. There's several ways to do it. You could cut a top piece out and put cording on it in a box and pull it over. A lot of these were done with a piece that went from the front to the back, but the box came around like this. And But this one's going to be a simple pullover. And we'll take it from there. And I think I've got it in a pretty good location. I'm just going to cut this right off and get it out of the way. That'll give us the front to rear. I think we're good like that. There's way too much over here, so we'll cut some of that off. I want to make sure you don't cut too much. Done that before. I'm going to just grab that with a staple. And now we're going all the way to the bottom to staple. So just put one there to hold it. So I want to pull it over and pull it out. So I think that's going to be fine. Okay. So we got one side. We'll get the other side. You kind of take your hand and, and you just kind of move the fabric a little like that while you're pulling it on the other side. And as you pull it, you're pulling it that way and you're pulling it that way. I'm working against the staple that you already put in there. And you do the same with the front. It's going that way and it's going up. And like we did with the muslin, we're going to do the sides all the way to the ends. And then we'll pull the front and the back down and over it like that. So we do the sides first here. Same idea. Move it up, pull it back, put some staples in, pull it down, pull it towards the front. I'm going to do a little trimming before I get too far into this. Thank you, air compressor. And you can see that this guy's a little bunched up. That was the first one we put in. So normally I'd pull that out with a screwdriver or something, but we're just going to get it like that. So on the corners here, you get these little indentations. You're going to pull it in a little bit like this. And you're going to do it the same over here. And pull that little fold in that that oh my beer oh no we got a cut ah we'll keep going so we're gonna pull this up good and strong nice and nice and snug it you always go snug you don't want to pull it too tight because it's a spring unit and you can actually pull the springs down so you're gonna fold that in and then you're gonna push this down not too hard because you, you'll lose your, your corner, which is pretty easy to do anyway. So, you know, it's gonna look, it's gonna look pretty good. A lot of times what you can do is uh, cut that piece out. You go down like that a little bit. You don't wanna go too far. And then you get, you know, you get a lot of the fabric out of the way and it makes an easier fold. And you want to get that down there. Got a lot of padding there. I got to push that in. And pull that down. All right. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Now we're on to the front. 
I'm going to do basically the same idea. Kind of move it up, make sure you get it all. Working our ways to the edge, start in the middle. Not too far because you're, you're working with springs. And then you're going to do the same idea. It's going to get folded in. And you take up the excess there. And then you fold that in and pull it up. And because there's so much there, I'm going to do that little cutout bit. So we cut out the excess here, and then we can just fold that right in. Make sure everything's fairly smooth. And then, you know, you get your nice front corner. Start to take shape. Same thing over here. That little extra fold. Take out a little extra fabric here. Make it nice. Tuck it right in. Maybe it'll take out a little bit more. I don't want to ruin my shirt. Hmm. Okay, work it over, get it, get it the way you want it, pull it down, and you know, check the bottom out, looks like it needs a trim. And that's pretty much what it is. There. Normally you'd put a dust cover on a seat, but these drop-ins, they were all, because this thing kind of sticks out, they never, they did sometimes, but mostly they didn't. Just put a few to hold everything in place. And there's the back, looks pretty good. And you can always, you know, want to get that a little snugger, you kind of tuck it in. Sometimes it works out really good. And sometimes fair. And look at that. See, even those look almost purposeful. And we got nice crisp corners. Customer should be happy. There's those little cutouts there, you, they're not plugged up. That's one reason when you pull these down, you try to keep them in so that you don't fill that little corner in. When it drops in the frame, you don't see hardly any of this over here. You will see the front and, and that's pretty much all you'll see. And it's pretty hard to get rid of every little last wrinkle, you know, like these wrinkles here. But when they're dropped in the seat, it, it's not seen. I think we're ready for the chair. Nice. Well, take care. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, like us, uh, subscribe. Any questions, you know, shoot us a question. Otherwise, have a great day and don't spill your beer. Using my microphone. Slide it down. Oh, it's on the floor. There we go. <laughs> right. You may want to cut this out. Well, I won't use this audio. I'll just insert this clip over your audio and over the other movie so that. Um, so, what do you want me to say? Um, yeah. yeah, so, yeah, there, there's the little notch there. Oh, well, he's in the shot. <laughs> <laughs> There's my man cleaning up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, no. Okay. Is now. It